What's up, everybody? Today is going to be about our relationship with food and what that should be like, um, contrary to popular belief and everything we hear on the the news and online and social media. I think uh, the American culture and American society looks at food um, as it is the the holy grail, right? And when we get up in the morning, that's the first thing we should think about. What am I going to eat for breakfast today? And then, you know, uh, am I going to have my lunch ready? Do I need any snacks with me? Um, and then, you know, what's, what's going to be for dinner? Uh, or where should we stop on the way home for dinner? That's the kind of mindset that I feel like a lot of Americans have due to, you know, the media and so on. But in reality, um, as we get older, once you become an adult, we don't really need, you know, the four or five, six meals a day to, to be living optimally. And in fact, less is more. So my relationship with food is kind of like uh, the way, you know, our ancestors perceived food. I'm talking way back, um, you know, back when we had to go actually hunt our food every day. And we wouldn't eat sometimes two, three days at a time until we finally found what it was we had um, available to us. So, and I think about it now and I'm like, wow, you know, that primal uh, lifestyle, all of us back then, we looked muscular, we were chiseled, um, we, you know, we had lean muscle on us. Nobody was obese back then, right? But now being exposed to all of these drive throughs and the easy stops and, you know, the fried food and the fast food and, you know, eat your six or seven small meals a day. It's changed the way Americans look and the way Americans feel and, and you know, it's changed how we live and it's changed our mind. Right now I'm just drinking uh, my Americano, right? Espresso with hot water. Um, and this is pretty much what I drink. And obviously I drink water um, until usually around the afternoon. My relationship with food is totally different. Um, I don't get up and think, oh, what am I gonna eat today? Right, I get up and I focus on my activity. I focus on uh, my objectives. I focus on doing um, rather than you know eating and stuffing my face. And if you also think about it too, like how do you feel after you eat? Typically, we feel you know kind of weighed down, and we we don't have as much energy. I have so much energy when I have nothing in my system, and our body is actually wired to be able to work without a lot in our stomach. So my relationship with food is totally different. I get up, I train hard, I work out, I run, I lift weights, I practice martial arts. Um, I do my, uh, you know, work from home on my laptop. I go train my clients. Um, I'm so active all day and for the first eight, nine, 10 hours of my day, I don't eat anything and I feel great. I'm able to focus, I'm sharp, um, so much more energetic uh, and, and I feel fine. I don't feel that hunger. Um, when I first started the transition to this lifestyle, um, it was hard in the beginning because you know my body is used to that food coming in the system. So it's asking for it. Um, but after you know a couple weeks, a month, a year, uh, I feel I feel amazing. And I, I actually this lifestyle is so much better than the one I was living, you know, where I would get up and I would make my three eggs with oatmeal and then I would go to the gym and I would just feel so heavy. Um, and usually around one or two o'clock I'm ready to take a nap. But now uh I feel amazing, I go train. 
usually around one or two, I have my first meal and I get very full very fast. So I usually make that a smaller meal. I get my protein in uh, to repair my muscles and all that. And, you know, I'll continue working. I'll usually train again. Uh, and then my favorite part of the day is dinner time. And that's when I get to feast. And that's what we used to do way back when. We would go, you know, sometimes a day or two without eating. And then we would just eat it. We would just stuff our faces. We'd have a one big meal. Um, and that's kind of how I do it. I'll have a, you know, a medium-sized small meal um, in the middle of the day. Um, and then I'll have a big, big dinner. And I look forward to that dinner and I don't, and I don't nitpick and I don't weigh out and measure. It's just, you know, it's, it's more intuitive. Like, yo, what does my body need? Right? What's it asking for right now? And then I give it that. Um, and then I get up and I'm still full in the morning time and I go work out and use all the energy that I have. Um, and I do the same thing the next day. That's how I live. Um, and I look at food differently. I don't, I don't look at it like, oh, this is what's going to keep me going today. It's like, you know, I have natural energy inside of me uh, through exercise, through breathing, through meditation. Um, and I use that energy. And then, you know, I go replenish. That's how I look at my food now. I wanted to share that with you guys. If you have questions about, you know, this style of living and, and utilizing intermittent fasting, especially you athletes, it's going to take your performance to the next level. So um, questions, uh, comments, feel free to, uh, you know, reach out to me directly. All right. Hope this helped you guys. All right. Skip breakfast tomorrow. Go a little bit longer um, and see how you feel. But do it, you know, for a few days. All right. Take care.